Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how we can add a slider to your lens that controls the strength of a LUT or a color correction. And all of the resources are going to be available to download in the description. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open a new project. And we're going to add a screen image, but we don't actually need the screen image. What we need is this orthographic camera, so we can just go ahead and delete this full frame region. And we're just left with this orthographic camera. Then after you've downloaded this UI widget from the description or the Lens Studio website, you can just go ahead and drag that onto your orthographic camera. And then you'll see that these user interface slider and buttons all appear but we're not actually going to use any of these so i'm just going to go ahead and untick them so in the objects panel open up the ui panel and untick rounded button button and toggle and we're also just going to get rid of this tap hint as well so we're just left with the slider and you can use this to control a lot of things. It, the easiest way to use it is on like a 3D object. You can just add, let's say a sphere. Whoops, we don't want to add it into the orthographic camera. So if we just click on our normal camera and add a sphere, and it's too close to the camera to see it. So let's just drag it forward a bit. Now, if we were to go on our, color picker and drag the sphere into the color reciprocant now that slider controls the sphere or whatever 3d object you've dragged into it but we don't want to do that today we want to have this slider control a LUT or a color correction so it doesn't really matter which one you're using and you can create your own custom ones. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the black and white one. And I actually wanna turn this slider, I don't really want it going up and down, I want it going side to side. So let's just do that now. Click on the UI picker and you'll see that it's pinned to the side of the screen. I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna unpin it and then I'm gonna put it in the center of the screen and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm gonna bring it down, I think 0.5 is pretty good. So it's just above the carousel. And we don't really want this rainbow because it's gonna be a bit strange when it's just changing, it's not really going through a bunch of different colors, it's just from 0% to 100% on the black and white. So to get rid of the rainbow, let's just go into the background of the UI color picker, go to the palette, and you'll see the texture is color picker gradient, and you can actually create your own custom ones, but for this, I'm just gonna bring the alpha down so that you don't see it. But you'll see that you're still seeing these rainbow colors so to change that, we just need to go to the color picker, hit edit properties, and instead of full palette, which is the full rainbow, we just want two color gradient. So now you'll see it's just going from white to black. And that looks a lot better for this example anyway. So how do we connect this to this? Well, first you need to download the script that's provided in the description. And I'm just gonna take a moment here to say thanks to Paige. She made this script and said that it was okay for me to share it with you guys. So a big thanks to her. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is, after you've downloaded it, I've renamed it, but you're just gonna to wanna to open it up and then select all either by dragging and doing all that, but it's a lot easier if you just edit, select all, and then we can just right click, copy. Now, if you go to the UI color picker and right click on that and do highlight, 
it will show you where the where the script is. So now we want to click on that script, open in built-in editor, right click, select all and backspace to delete it and then right click and paste the new one in. Now you'll see that as well as color reciprocant, we've also got alpha reciprocant. But if we go here, you'll see that actually it hasn't appeared yet. And the way to get it to appear is you need to close it and then hit save. And then it updates the script. And now we have the alpha reciprocant. So now we can simply drag our color correction into the alpha reciprocant and it works beautifully. Or if you want it to go the other way, you can change, you can swap them around. And now, because the black represents 100% on the alpha and white represents 0%. So depending on how you want it, you can do it like that. Okay, so we're almost finished, but if we were to leave it there, then when you film your video and post it to Snapchat, you'll still have this slider on the screen and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna show you how to quickly add a little behavior script that removes the slider from the screen when you start recording. So we're just gonna add an empty object and I like to have my behavior scripts at the top. So I'm just gonna drag that up there and then we just add from helper scripts behavior and then we can drag that behavior script in we can just rename this behav script and we just want to change the touch event to recording start response type set enabled and we want to disable it and what we want to disable is the ui color picker so then that means that when you start recording this ui color picker will be disabled from the screen okay so i just sent it to my device and i realized that actually zero point um minus 0.5 was uh, too close to the carousel. So I've moved it up a little bit just by putting 0.40. But you can just change it around and put it wherever you want, wherever you feel it fits best on the screen, you can put it there. Um, I also realized that we don't really need, because we're not really like selecting a color, we don't really need this big circle popping up above the top so if you want to remove that you can just go to palette and untick it oh no not palette inside palette cursor no inside cursor which one is it ah ui pop-up untick that so now we've just got the slider without the little button on top so if you prefer it that way, you can just untick the UI pop-up. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube jazz. And I'll be back with a new tutorial in a couple of days.